good morning thank you very much for inviting me to this important meeting of policy circle and i always appreciate the effort of uh, the organizers in creating awareness so i have been asked to talk about increasing cases of lung diseases reasons and solutions we all human beings breathe 10000 liters of air every day which is very important for us to get oxygen but along with oxygen we do get lot of adulterating substances which can be bacteria which can be viruses which can be air pollutants with that globally there has been tremendous increase as much as 39.8% respiratory diseases since the year 1990 and we are going to talk about why how and what can be done there was a study conducted uh, by dr sandeep salvi where more than 2 lakh 5000 physician visits were assessed and it was found that 50% patients presented with respiratory symptoms so what are the respiratory diseases which we see before 1950s the chest physicians were equated to tb doctors so tb was very common from 1950 to 2000 asthma copd pneumonia and bronchiectasis became very common and as the we progressed the sleep apnea the interstitial lung disease and copd and swine flu and so on and so forth came so summarizing that copd asthma tuberculosis and lung cancer and covid lung disease has become very important part of human illnesses we all see this devastation of covid pandemic which came like a storm and as many as 3 crore patient required icu care out of which half of them required even mechanical ventilation and with this unprecedented catastrophe it has left a large number of people who are suffering from chronic lung disease of which we'll be talking about and we saw during covid the devastating catastrophe during the second wave so what is the magnitude of chronic respiratory disease in india which has 18% of the world population but 32% of disability adjusted life years are lost because of chronic respiratory diseases as many as 8.7% of the total deaths in india is due to chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases and prevalence of copd has increased by as much as 29% from 1999 to 2016 why it has happened what is the causes what is the cause of high burden of respiratory disease in india we have atmospheric air pollution which is 40% is because of the automobiles because of industry because of the stubble burning and indoor air pollution is a big problem which is adding to the human health besides this active and passing smoking and tobacco use adds to the chronic respiratory diseases with that india is world's most polluted city and what we have seen that chicago studies have shown that average indian uses 5.3 years and as far as daily daily it is concerned their life span is reduced by 11.9 years isn't this troubling and we see this india get before diwali and during diwali this is the kind of visibility is there and during the covid lockdown we saw uh, india get is a blue sky that means that air pollution is absolutely man made 
And this is the lung. On your left is a healthy lung from Himachal Pradesh. And this is the daily lung which is absolutely charred. And no amount of treatment including inhalers can change it. So what is the impact of air pollution on our health? These are the Indian studies which were published by, uh, by us in the International Journal. There is increased premature deaths. There is increased respiratory cause of mortality. There is increased acute exacerbation of asthma and COPD and increased health expenditure. What about infections? We all know tuberculosis. It's a very important disease. As of now, 4 lakh people die of tuberculosis every year. And as many as 10.6 million people fell ill with TB in the year 2021. And geographically, most TB cases in 2021 were in the region of Southeast Asia and Africa and Western Pacific area. Four lakh people are dying every year with tuberculosis. So, a lot of action plan has been taken for managing tuberculosis and which is a preventable disease which is transmitted by droplet. The WHO aimed at NTB project by 2030 by doing a case detection and treatment and tuberculosis vaccination. But, but India has aimed to end TB by year 2025. So how can we do that? This is because of development in the diagnosis and treatment of uh, tuberculosis. So what are the developments in the field of diagnosis and control of chronic respiratory disease in India? Pre previously, this was the kind of stethoscope we were using, spirometry, these are the kind of ventilators. Now there are several advancements in the diagnosis of uh, lung diseases which includes lung function tests, which are widely available in majority of hospitals. And there are rapid diagnostic tests when TB can be diagnosed in a period of two hours. Not only the TB can be diagnosed, but it is possible to know about drug resistance by these biotechnological tests. So there should be a sustainable development goal. What can we do about this? The target is, to reduce the premature mortality due to non-communicable diseases by one third. Uh, and, and India has a national policy to reduce 25% uh, morbidity and mortality by the year 2025. So what is the goal as far as the respiratory disease is concerned? There should be early detection of lung diseases, control of smoking, decreased use of household solid fuel and control of ambient air pollution. If you are able to achieve that, lot will be gained. It is deplorable. As far as the COPD is concerned, while in the Western countries, more than 95% cases are because of tobacco smoking. In India, the air pollution is responsible for 50% of cases of COPD. Tobacco smoking by 25% and others, mainly occupational, mining industries, power plants, are responsible for COPD. Ironically, all are preventable. So how to reduce burden of chronic respiratory diseases in India? We have to reduce the ambient and household air pollution. The ambient air pollution can be reduced by, by fuels for automobiles like biomass fuel, as we have introduced CNG and now ethanol has been used. Use of electrical vehicles is a silver lining and the household air pollution can be reduced by uh, stopping the burning of fossil fuels like coal and wood and so on and so forth. Control of tobacco smoking is also very important other safety measures in the mines and industries, and early diagnosis and treatment of diseases such as tuberculosis. In India, the household air pollution has been addressed by the government of India and Ujjwala Yojana, where the 
gas cylinders are being provided and as many as 10 crore uh, families had the benefit of gas cylinders. So concluding is that India suffers from disproportionately large number of chronic respiratory diseases, including tuberculosis. There has been advances in diagnostic procedures and therapeutic options. Control of outdoor and indoor pollution is key to reducing respiratory morbidity and mortality. Tobacco consumption is a big menace for all systems of body and its control would lead to reduction in respiratory disease also. A great program of TB control is on and we hope to attend TB Mukt Bharat soon. And control of air pollution and tobacco use require a mass home, which required contribution not only from the policymakers and administrators, but from each injured individual of the society. If we do all this, we'll be reducing the burden of respiratory diseases, which leads to preventable morbidity and mortality. I once again thank you all. And with the last word, which Mahatma Gandhi, our father of the nation said, the difference between what we do and what we are capable of doing would suffice to solve most of the world's problems. And this couldn't apply more with chronic respiratory diseases. We know how to prevent it. We know what it causes. If we do what is what our knowledge says, we'll be able to reduce the chronic respiratory diseases to large, large extent. With that, I thank the organizers and I thank you all for the kind attention. Thank you very much.